Hey Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This message is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hey guys. If you are returning, thank you so much for being here. I'm glad that you enjoy my messages. If this is the first time you've clicked on my channel, I hope you consider subscribing, joining the family, help me get to 70K. I would really appreciate it. All right, Cappy, let's see what's in store for you this week. What does spirit want to say? What do we need to talk about for Capricorn? So we have family. It says, forgiving your family can significantly enhance your romantic relationships. Oh, damn. So we go in there. One more for Capricorn. Some of you guys, there's a family issue um, that could be holding you back relationship-wise. Now, for the past few weeks, Cappy, the reason you stand out for me to be able to remember what I've been doing for you guys the last couple weeks, because all the other signs I'd be forgetting, is because your readings have been very positive towards a new relationship, a new relationship coming in. Some of you guys have already met this person or are talking to them. They're a new energy. You're excited about it. You want to see where it goes kind of thing. Others of you guys, it's on the horizon. Um, so for this family issue to come out, there's something to do with that, with your new, this new love coming in, but you also have like these family issues, okay? So it says, don't ignore it. Pay attention to warning signs such as physical and emotional abuse. Ignoring them can lead to long-term emotional trauma. So, some of you guys, we might need to go, we not, might need to talk about childhood trauma here because some of you maybe have grown up in abusive households, whether that's, you know, your, your mother and your father being physically abusive towards each other or just like your mom and father, like hearing emotional abuse going on. Um, so for some of you, it's made you almost immune to this type of treatment, this type of behavior. And it's it's made you more susceptible to being in abusive relationships or it's made you more susceptible to be an anti-relationship in general and just maybe not wanting to settle down or not wanting to commit to anybody because of the types of people that you, you know, saw in, you know, growing up. Um, there's some need, I want to say, to, for like forgiveness. So let me clarify this family card. What's this family card? Some of you guys like need to forgive a family member. What's this family card? Could be a toxic cancer <laughs> that you guys might need to forgive or a Libra I feel like somebody's facing like judgment about their trans judgment day for their transgressions why am I hearing that um if you had an absent father in your life like this person failed to come towards you they failed to do any kind of make any real moves in your life i do feel that there could be an issue with a father figure um that you guys have not been able to forgive them for something um i'm also seeing here that like whoever this is it's like they're facing their own karma for that or they're gonna have to answer for what they did so I guess it's like letting go of feeling like you have to punish this person, Capricorn, because they're going they're going through their own type of punishment, a punishment that the universe is going to deal out, that the universe maybe already has dealt out, and that you don't need to be the one to feel like you have to carry that, is what I want to say. Tell me about this um, red flags card. Somebody, specifically this family member, I'm not going to get that though, could like play emotional games with you of like ghosting you or not talking to you or ignoring you or purposely just having discord with you um, as a way to manipulate you, okay? So that, I feel like that's very specific. Also, just for in hindsight and relationships, if you guys have dealt with people pulling away from you, ghosting you, giving you the silent treatment, blocking you, those kinds of games could be play, could be something that's very triggering for you. And it is a form of emotional abuse, too. Um, 
some of you guys have kind of, I'm also hearing you have, you're very quick to block people yourselves, like literally physically blocking. So if like, if a relationship's not going the way that you wanted to, or you guys are having issues, or you, you see it, you've seen enough with somebody, a lot of you guys are very quick to block a person and just move on with your life, accept what is and what isn't, and move on and chase your coin, chase your bag, which is total Capricorn energy, okay? So I'm getting a, a couple different messages out of that, okay? I do feel like there's been people in your life that have been emotionally abusive to you, maybe even physically abusive, and so... You're very quick to spot those red flags and when you do it's like an immediate cut off which is good you're very you're being very protective of your energy but there's also like this layer to that that spirit wants you to like heal that aspect of yourself that it makes you more hyper aware it's almost like you're hyper vigilant is the word i'm hearing where you could cut people off maybe too fast <laughs> You could cut people off maybe a little too fast, Cappy. All right, tell me more for Capricorn. Tell me more for Capricorn. So we have insecurities here with Gold Digger. <laughs> what is this? Insecurities weigh them down, casting shadows of doubt and fear on their true potential. We have gold digger, craving wealth and luxury, often at the expense of genuine connections and true intentions. Who is this? Is this you, Cappy? Like, okay, so this is what I'm getting. With you guys coming out, your energy being nine of pentacles, maybe you guys have a lot of money. Maybe you have assets. Maybe you have a business. Maybe you have a lot to give. And so one of your biggest insecurities is people using you for your resources, people using you for your money and for, and for clout. And because you're, you have it, you know, you, I mean, so maybe, maybe that's even tied into family. Maybe your family has taken money from you or they only want to come around when they want something from you and they never pay you back or they never, they're never, your, they're never there for emotional support. They just want you to be there for financial support. I feel like this is a damn personal reading for somebody. Again, though, I feel like you guys are cutting these types of people out your life. Also, this is going to be for some of you, not for all of you. Some of you guys could be a little materialistic and that could be an issue that you guys need to fix in, within your heart space of like maybe only wanting to be around people that live this luxe life or um, can get you elevated, can get you to where you need to go. You know, maybe you feel like you're upper echelon, so you only have to hang around, you only are supposed to hang around those types of people, and it's made you maybe more materialistic, or maybe people have labeled you a gold digger, okay, because of the people that you date. This could be something you're insecure about. Maybe somebody has called you this in the past. But for a lot of you, I feel like it's more so the other way around, where you're very you worry that people are with you for what you have versus what you can, what, who you are. Okay. With you coming out as nine of pentacles. Clarify that gold digger card. Yeah, somebody was being sneaky as hell and was taking money from you or only around you for money. And they will swear up and down that's not what it was. With the justice, could have been a Libra that did this to you, or a, a Gemini or an Aquarius. Somebody was manipulating for money and for resources. Could have been a lover, could have been a friend, could have been a family member. It's going to be different for everybody. Put it down in the comments if I'm on the money. Um, but with the justice reverse, justice reverse is kind of like. They never will own up to it. You've accepted that they're not going to own up to it. Maybe some of you guys have accepted that you'll never get your money back or somebody ain't ever going to pay you back or something and you lost out on whatever, okay? Um, somebody could have stolen from you. Also, I'm hearing like just feeling like somebody 
um, took away time, like stole time and stole energy from you. Like if you were, let's say it's a lover situation, maybe somebody was just with you for your nice home, for the accommodations, the things that you did to keep their life comfortable, okay? Whether you're a feminine or a masculine, um, and you're thinking to yourself, wow, that's the only reason you were really with me is because I gave you this nice life. You know, it was never really about me and, and how you felt about me. So I feel like not only did you rob me of my money and my resources, but you robbed me of my time and my energy and my love. OK, so it's giving that. But this person will like never admit that, though. All right, let's get into some written messages for Capricorn. So there's that, you know, I, I do feel like we have been channeling like new love energy coming in for you, but some of you guys are actually dealing with deep rooted emotions of this where you have felt maybe used and abused a lot of your life. You have seen abuse go down um, as a child. You have maybe been raised up to believe in materialistic viewpoints or something like that, um, which can be kind of emotionally damaging, especially like if you're a feminine, for example, and your mother always told you to just like go after a man's pockets and like not after his heart and who he is as a person, like that could be pretty emotionally damaging to you. And it, and it has affected your relationships. It's affected your life. I mean, even if your father, as a, as a feminine, if your father told you only go for men with money or whatever, whatever, like it doesn't matter who told you it, it really can affect your, your, you know, your relationships for the rest of your life. So there's something that needs to be mended within your family. Um, put it down in the comments if that's hitting home for you. We have, I prayed for a connection this deep. So again, any kind of energy can come out in these messages. So we'll see what's coming out for you, Capricorn. I'm involved with too many people. We have anxiety ridden. Single and ready-ish to mingle. <laughs> I feel like that is your energy, Cappy. Like, you're single and ready-ish to mingle. Okay. Tell me more. We got, I don't want to change. Selfish motives. I don't know who this energy is. I'm going to clarify these cards. But, like, there's somebody in your energy, Capricorn. I'm not sure if this is a past person or somebody that you've recently cut off. That you guys have a deep connection. Like, they have feelings for you. They feel for you. But they're involved with too many people. Like, they don't want to commit. And they don't want to change that either. And they're very selfish. It's giving that, like, you know, they want to take. I mean, yeah, they just want to take, take, take. They don't want to give. And I feel like that's what makes you, and you've always kind of maybe attracted those types of people. And that could be why that, you know, that cut off, that block energy came out. Because I saw things that, that were happening behind the scenes that you couldn't see divine feminine or divine masculine. So maybe you didn't realize this person was involved with other people and that they were using you for something. I keep checking my phone, hoping to see a notification from you. And a new person wants to talk to you and they're crushing. I can't make it up. Like, who is this new person? Can we stop talking about him and let them just be revealed here? So you have a new person that's crushing on you, Cappy. We've been talking about that. We've been channeling that. Put it down in the comments if you know who this is. But who is this person that's involved with too many people? Who's this person that's involved with too many people? Oh. <laughs> Something told me to go to, to reach for that. And I'm glad I did because this is giving. This is totally, this is the embodiment of I talk to so many people and I'm so good at it. I'm such a player. I know exactly what to say. I'm so fucking charming. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
could be a younger person, but doesn't have to be. They just immature. Okay. This is a smooth talker person. Very romantic when they want to be. But yeah, the devil here with the nine of cups. Could be another Capricorn you're linked up with, but I'm getting a lot of water energy from this person that's involved with too many people, whoever they are. They're toxic. They're all about themselves. Nine of Cups is a very selfish energy. It's like they have a lot of things going for them. They could have a good career. They could have a lot of things to show for themselves. They could be a very smart person, but they just don't know how to balance a relationship. They're not a relationship person. They're not a committed type of person. And they're not good at, they're not a good boyfriend or a good girlfriend. They're just not relationship material. They're not boyfriend material, girlfriend material. Um, they could be very fun to be around. They could be pretty successful, which maybe attracted you, Cappy. Um, or if they're not really successful, they have a mouthpiece. So they're very charming, charismatic, and that gets you confidence and charismatic energy and lighting up a room, being able to control a room and talk to people and look important tends to attract Capricorns. Okay. Uh, specifically Capricorn feminines, but they're toxic as hell though, with that devil energy coming out in the page of cups. Um, explain this, clarify this anxiety ridden. Why is it here? We have the Queen of Wands reverse. So really, you know what? This person that's got all these people in their life, you know, they could really disguise the fact, you know, all this confidence and cares and like care, like charismatic attitude that they have. It could be really, they could be putting on a front because the Queen of Wands reverse is a very insecure person, very jealous person, very spiteful, very vindictive, very conniving and like manipulative and just all those things, right? So this is definitely, I'm hearing the Cheshire cat smile. Why am I hearing that? You know, the like the little Cheshire cat from like, what was that, Alice in Wonderland? I got that visual in my head. <laughs> so I don't know if they have a really big smile and it's like they give you that little grin or something like that. Ugh, that's kind of creepy. But that's what I'm seeing in my head. I'm seeing like a little cat like grinning like, mm. And it's like something about, it's like, you know, you can't resist my smile. Like, you know, you can't resist when I look at you like this. Or they have like this smile they put on their face when it's like they know they're fucking lying to you. And they know that you know that they're lying. But then they like smile and it makes you laugh or smile or something like that. And then it's like they feel like they're in the, in the clear. But this person actually struggles a lot with anxiety and it's because they're so out of control okay they're a toxic masculine for some of you guys in aries um they could i do feel like they have water and fire in their chart and possibly capricorn as well and it's like of course they have all this anxiety they're juggling all these different people wouldn't you shit players players probably have all of them probably have high blood pressure because how are you gonna deal with multiple people like that and not be like going through it you know, so I feel like you're avoiding this person at all costs here. I split the deck and the towers reverse. You guys could have Aries or Scorpio in your charts. Um, yeah, so let's talk about this new energy. This person that has a crush on you. Who are they? Could be a Leo or a Sagittarius Aries. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So this person could have fire and water in their chart too. <laughs> but they could be more of the higher vibrational side of that. Um, I will say though, this person's not very confident. So they're a little bit more shy, which is why they're crushing on you and haven't said a whole lot. So I feel like their personality is going to be way different than this toxic person you built, you've dealt with or dealing with. Um, they're not as loud. They're not as confident. They're not as like rambunctious. And honestly, they might be a little timid for you. You might not like that. But I see that that they're not a player, though. Seven of Cups coming out reverse. They, they know what they want, which is you. Like, they've gotten their eye on you. And they don't have a bunch of distractions. Like, they don't have a bunch of people in their life. Like, so that might be really refreshing to you, Capricorn. They're just going to be a little bit more shy. Like, a little bit less in your face which might be refreshing for a lot of you guys they're more laid back 
What are their future actions towards you? Just watching you, just stalking you, just looking at you. This person could talk to you online. Um, that's annoying though for those of you guys. Okay, they're eventually going to approach you. They're going to um, offer you something romantic. They could be asking you out on a date pretty soon. But for right now, um, they're just watching you. I feel like a lot of you guys, if you are dealing with that toxic stuff that I was talking about with this past person, you have to make sure you walk away from that before you get involved with this new person. Because I feel like they're very sweet. I feel like for some reason, I want to say they they get their feelings hurt easy. They're maybe a little too... Uh, they're not... Let me not say... Let me not say they're too timid for you. And say like, they are not as direct and... You, you might have to pull things out of them more. Okay. For some reason, that's what I feel about them. They have water in their chart for sure. Maybe a little air and some fire. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonated, be sure to like the video. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for being here.